explain four attributes of IMG tag. The attributes of the IMG tag are SRC, it is used to specify the path to the image. Alt, it is used to specify an alternate text for the image. It is useful as it informs the user about what the image means and also due to any network issue if the image cannot be displayed then this alternate text will be displayed. Height. It is used to specify the height of the image. Align. The align attribute specifies the alignment of an image according to the surrounding element. The IMG element is an inline element. It does not insert a new line on a page, meaning that text and other elements can wrap around it. What does href stand for? Anchor tag is used for creating hyperlinks in HTML web pages. href is the attribute of anchor tag, stands for hypertext reference. It takes the URL of the web page which we want to link when we create external link. For example, a href equal to https www.openai.com and then after the tag, openai is the text which will appear and the anchor tag is closed. Target. This attribute is used to specify the place in which the linked web page will open. It takes any of the following four values. Blank, parent, self and top. Well, so let's see the example of all these four. Blank opens the link document in a new window or tab. Self opens the link document in the same frame as it was clicked. This is default. Parent opens the link document in the parent frame. Top opens the link document in the full body of the window. Now let's see the practical use of it. I have created a web page called my frames which will have two frames. One frame will hold an image file while others will have main.html file which has linked to another file. Now let's see the code of the myframes.html file. For that we have to open our HTML file in notepad. As you can see that two frames have been given to different percentage share of the window. Now let me change this percentage equally. Save your changes. Open your file again on browser. Now let's see the main.html file which contains link to another file. Its target is set to blank. On clicking on the link, the other file gets opened in another tab.
Now let's change this blank to self. Save the changes and open myframes.html. Click on the link and you will see that on the same frame another .html got opened, removing the previous page. You can press the back button again to get back to the previous page and again try the same. Now let's change this self to parent and see what changes it makes while opening the web page. As you can see, it removes the myframes.html file completely and provides the complete browser to the another.html file. Question number 3. What is the purpose of A-Link and V-Link attribute? A-Link attribute is used to give the color to an active link on the web page. By default, the active link is blue, but we can change it to whatever color using A-Link attribute. V-Link. V means visited. Define the color of the visited link in the document. I have made an HTML file called links which have two links. Now let's change the colors of different states of links. That is normal link, visited link, hover link and active link. Give the color you want when the link will be displayed normally. When you move over the link, press the link and when the link has already been visited. Save your changes. So as you can see that the link appears in red color. When I'm moving the mouse over it, it becomes yellow. On pressing the button that is active, it becomes active and it becomes blue. And once visited, it becomes green. Define frames. HTML frames are used to divide your browser window into multiple sections where each section can load a separate HTML document. A collection of frames in the browser window is known as frame set. The window is divided into frames in a similar way the tables are organized into rows and columns. Question number 5. What is the use of border attribute in the IMG tag? Border attribute specifies the thickness of the border surrounding the image. IMG SRC is equal to logo3.png. <coughs> alternate, it is alternate is the text, the image of logo and border equal to 5. So at the right side you can see that the logo is there and the image is surrounded by thick border. <coughs> 